This LOS is explaining the IS and LM curves and how they combine to generate the aggregate demand curve. Aggregate demand, aggregate supply, and equilibrium. Aggregate demand represents aggregate income and price level. Aggregate supply represents the quantity of goods and service producers are willing to supply at any given level of prices. It also reflects the amount of labor and capital that households are willing to offer into the marketplace at given real wage rates and cost of capital. Aggregate expenditures equals aggregate income. This results in the investment savings, the IS curve, which is the relationship between savings less investments, S, uh, S minus I, and income Y. The IS curve represents the demand for money from the goods market. If we assume that planned expenditures equal, equals actual income, there is equilibrium in the money markets represented by the liquidity money supply, which is the LM curve. The LM curve illustrates the supply of money funds available for investing, that is, equilibrium in the money market. MV equals PY, where M equals the money supply, V equals velocity of money, P equals the price level, and Y equals income. The IS and LM curves illustrate the relationship between the real interest rate, R, and income. So we can see here on the y-axis we've got the real interest rate and on the x-axis we've got income. Just show one thing here on this curve. We can see that the LM curve is moving from the dashed line to the solid line and that uh, the solid line reflects a higher real money supply than the dashed LM line. Okay, With a higher real money supply the intersection you can see on the IS curve has moved and what's happening there? It's happening at a um, higher level of real income on the y-axis so the real income is increased but at a lower rate of um, real interest rates. So we'll go through some bullet points to summarize some of the key points. The IS curve reflects combinations of GDP and the real interest rate such that aggregate income output equals planned expenditures. The LM curve reflects combinations of GDP and the interest rate such that demand and supply of real money balances are equal. Combining the IS and LM relationships yields the aggregate demand curve. Aggregate demand and aggr uh, aggregate supply determine the level of real GDP and the price level. The aggregate demand curve is the relationship between real output GDP demanded and the price level, holding underlying factors constant. Movements along the aggregate demand curve reflect the impact of price on demand. The aggregate demand curve is downward sloping because a rise in price level reduces wealth, raises real interest rates, and raises the price of domestically produced goods versus foreign goods. The aggregate demand curve is drawn assuming a constant money supply. Now we're combining the two charts, the ISLM curve to the um, aggregate demand curve. We can see on the aggregate demand curve on the y-axis we have the price level and on the x-axis we also have the income. Okay, So you can see in this chart where we increase the money supply, what's going to happen? We're going to decrease the real interest rate and the price level is going to decrease and aggregate demand is going to increase because we've increased the money supply. Okay, So that's fairly common sense but it's just now being shown through a couple of charts representing the uh, relationship between the real interest rate and income uh, through the ISLM curves and then uh, reflecting through the price level and income through the aggregate demand curve. Okay, I find the best way to get on top of economics is just to do as many practice problems as possible. So we're just going to do a bunch of questions now on the ISLM curve. So the first one is, which curve represents combinations of income and the real interest rate at which planned expenditure equals income? Is it A, the IS curve, B, the LM curve, or C, the aggregate demand curve? A is correct. The IS curve represents combinations of income and the real interest rate at which planned expenditure equals income. So remember, aggregate expenditures equals aggregate income. This results in the investment savings curve, which is the relationship between savings less investment. 
S minus I, and income. Another quick practice question. An increase in government spending would shift the A, IS curve, and the LM curve, B, IS curve, and the aggregate demand curve, or C, LM curve, and the aggregate demand curve. This question's a little bit more tricky. Let's read through it. B is correct. The IS curve represents combinations of income and the real interest rate at which planned expenditure equals income. Correct. Equivalently, it represents combinations such as savings equals investment um, plus G minus T plus X minus M, where SY indicates that planned savings is an increasing function of income and IR indicates that planned investment is a decreasing function of the real interest rate. To maintain this relationship, an increase in government spending requires an increase in saving at any given level of the interest rate. This implies an increase in income at each level, at each interest rate level, a rightward shift of the IS curve. Unless the LM curve is vertical, the IS and LM curves will intersect at higher levels of aggregate expenditure and income. Since the LM curve embodies a constant price level, this implies an increase in aggregate expenditure at each price level, a rightward shift of the aggregate demand curve. Another quick practice question. An increase in the nominal money supply would shift the A, IS curve and LM curve, B, IS curve and the aggregate demand curve, or C, LM curve and the aggregate demand curve. I think this one's not too difficult because we know that an increase in the nominal money supply is definitely going to shift the uh, LM curve, okay? And uh, so C is correct. The LM curve represents combinations of income and the interest rate at which the demand for real money balances equals the money supply. So a couple of key bullet points here. For a given price level, an increase in the nominal money supply is also an increase in the real money supply. To increase the demand for real money uh, balances, either the interest rate must decline or income must increase. Therefore, at each, each level of the interest rate, income equals expenditure must increase a rightward shift of the LM curve. Since the IS curve is downward sloping, higher income requires a lower interest rate, a rightward shift in the LM curve means that the IS and LM curves will intersect at a higher level of aggregate expenditure income. This implies a higher level of aggregate expenditure at each price level, a rightward shift of the aggregate demand curve. Two more practice questions. So the second to last, an increase in the price level would shift the A, IS curve, B, LM curve, or C, aggregate demand curve. B is correct. The LM curve represents combinations of income and the interest rate at which the demand for real money balances equals the supply. For a given nominal money supply, an increase in the price level implies a decrease in the real money supply. To decrease the demand for real money balances, either the interest rate must increase or income must decrease. Therefore, at each level of the interest rate, income equals expenditure must decrease, which is a leftward shift of the LM curve. And one final practice question to finish this LOS. As the price level declines along the aggregate demand curve, the interest rate is most likely to A, decline, B, increase, or C, remain unchanged. I think this question is not too difficult. A is correct. A decrease in the price level increases the real money supply and shifts the LM curve to the right. Since the IS curve is downward sloping, the IS and LM curve will intersect at a higher level of income and a lower interest rate. And that takes us right back to the uh, first graph that we saw. So these questions, just try to redraw the graph very quickly. You know that the, um, so again, this question was asking, as the price level declines along the aggregate demand curve, you can see the price level is going low, you can see that the uh, interest rates are going to decrease, okay? Um, because you can see that the IS and LM curve are gonna intersect at a higher level of income and a lower interest rate. And that's the last slide for this LOS, thank you.